Well, today we're going to do one of his most famous books ever, The Cat in the Hat. Now, after we're done, stay tuned and we'll show you how you can make yourself into a cat, just like the cat in the hat. So, here's the book. Now, this book is long and has lots of tongue twisters. So be patient with Mrs. Small, because sometimes my tongue gets carried away with itself and it goes off and I've lost it. All right. I think I'm ready. The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there, we sat with Sally, we sat there, we too, and I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out, too cold to play ball, so we sat in the house and did nothing at all. So all we could do was sit, 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 and we did not like it, not one little bit. And then something went bump, how that bump made us jump. We looked, we saw him step on in on, him, on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. He said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. I know some good games that we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks, I'll show them to you. Your mother will not mind if you do. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. But our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Now, now, have no fear. Have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have fun, lots of good fun if you wish, with a game that I call up, 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 with a fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball with a book on one hand and a cup on my hat. But that is not all I can do, said the cat. Look at me, look at me now, said the cat, with a cup and a cake on top of my hat. I can hold up two books and I, I can hold up the fish and I, a little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and a fish on a rake. I can hold the toy ship and a little toy man. And look with my tail, I can hold a red fan. I can fan with the fan as I hop on the ball, but that's not all. Oh no, that's not all. That is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball. And Sally and I saw all the things fall. And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it, not one little bit. What you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house, look at this, look at that. You sank our tour ship, sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house. You meant, and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when our mother is not. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. But I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat, so, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. And then he ran out, and then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back in with a box, a big red wood box. It was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things. I will show them to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. 
I will pick up the hook and you will see something. You will see something new. Two things I call them, thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to have fun. And out came, out of the box came thing two and thing one. And they ran to us fast and they said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? And Sally and I did not know what to do, so we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, and but our fish said, no, no, these things must not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is out. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things. He gave them a pat. They are tame, oh, so tame. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this cold, wet, wet, wet day. Now here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat, the cat in the hat. No, not in the house, said the fish on the pot. They should not fly kites in the house. They should not. All oh, the things they will bump, all oh, the things they will hit. I do not like it, not one little bit. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw the two, those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump down the wall in the hall. Thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down. On the string of one kite, we saw our mother's new gown. Her gown with the dots that are pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If my mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Then the fish said, look, look, as our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way. Do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, what will she, oh, she will not like the, to find us this way. Do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her. Your mother, your mother is near. So as fast as you can do something, think of something to do. You have to get rid of thing one and thing two. So as fast as I could, I went after my net and I said with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Then I let down my net. I came down with a flop. I had them at last. Those things had to stop. Then I had to cat. I said to the cat, now what do I, now do as I say, you pack up those things, you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat, do not, you do not like our game? Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Then he shut up the things in the box with a hook and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish, he has gone away. Yes, but your mother will come, she will find this big mess. And this mess is so big and so deep and so tall, we cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. And then, who was, who was back in the house? Why, the cat. Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings, and so I will show you another good trick that I know. And then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the strings and the books and the dish and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish. He put them away and he said, that is that. And off he went with the tip of his hat. Green choice. Then our mother came in and she said to us too, did you have any fun? What did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on that day? Should we tell her about it? Now, what should we do? Well, what would your, what you do if your mother asked you? So, the great choice would to tell your mom the truth, right? Even if you might be in trouble. And I also want to say, though, the cat in the hat made a lot of red choices in this book. He did not use his materials properly. He did clean up after his mess, and that is a green choice. So well done, Cat in the Hat. So Mrs. Small in a bag sent all of you materials to build your Cat in the Hat. Came in a little bag, yours was smaller, and it had a plate, and you'll find some ears and some whiskers and a bow tie. There's also in all of your little hats, all of your bags or packets, a little hat. Now. If you're not in my preschool, normally the materials you'll need is a black piece of paper, a paper plate, and you can have mom and dad make you a hat.
preschoolers, this is what I want you to do. I want you to decorate your hat however you want. You can make it look like the cat in the hat or you can be your own creation. You'll have to take your paper plate and have mom and dad help you cut out the middle so that your face can go through. You have to color your plate so that he looks like, make him have black around the edges like the cat in the hat. So all this part we should probably make black. Do, 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 do. You could actually color the whole plate black if you wanted to. I'm excited to see how you do it. Then you need glue or a tape, glue or tape, and you need to put your little black triangles up at the top. He has three whiskers on each side, and your bow tie's red, mine's black, and you put your bow tie on the bottom, then decorate your hat and glue it or tape it behind your two ears. And look, you're just like the cat in the hat, and you can run around your house and rhyme all the time. Bed, head, fox, box, rain, train, hook, nook, thing one, thing two, fish, dish. There's so many things you can rhyme. So this is a simple craft that you can do that goes along with our cat in the hat book. So cat in the hat, cut out your paper plate, color it black, glue on your ears, your whiskers, and your bow tie. And I can't wait to see pictures of all of your faces inside your cap. Bye guys, see you soon.